Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we are going to be looking at the greater or equals function on Power Automate. So we're going to start with a variable number of five. This is an integer variable. And then we're going to pass that variable into our greater or equals function. And we're also going to pass another parameter, another argument into our function, which is three. So in this instance, we're saying is five greater than or equal to three? Well, it is, it is greater than three. However, it's not equal to three, but because one of these arguments are true, it returns a true. So let's take a look at this comparing five to five. So we've still got our variable number of five. We're gonna pass it into our greater or equals function but we're also going to pass in the digit of five, the number of five. So we're saying is five greater than or equal to five? Well, it's equal to five, so we get a return of true. It's not greater than, but it is equal to. So what happens if five is not greater than or equal to the number that we are passing in? We've still got our variable. We pass that variable into our function of greater or equals, but this time we're passing in the number of seven. So is five greater than or equal to seven? No, the both answers for that are false. It is not greater than seven and it's not equal to seven. So then we return a false. Let's take a look at this in action on Power Automate. Right, so we are on the Power Automate website. We've got a manual trigger to trigger our flow. We are setting the number of five to an integer variable, which is the name of number. And then we are using a compose action to use our greater or equals function. And what we're doing is we're passing in our number variable and then we're passing in the number of three. So we're saying is five, our number variable greater than three. So we're expecting a true back here because it's not equal to three, but it is greater than three. And then in our second instance, we are using the same compose action and another greater or equals function to say greater or equals pass our variable in, pass the five in. So is five greater than or equal to five? Well, it is equal to five. So we're expecting a true back here. And then finally, we are doing another compose action and another greater or equals function. We're passing our variable of five back in and then we're passing the number of seven. So is five greater than or equal to seven? In both instances, it is not greater than and it is not equal to seven. So we're expecting a false return here. So let's kick off this flow. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We've assigned the number of five to the integer variable of number. And then we've got a true back for this instance because is five greater than or equal to three? It is greater than, great, we've got the true back. Then in the second one we've got is five greater than or equal to five? Well, it's not greater than, but it is equal to, so we've got a true back. And then in the third example, is five greater than or equal to seven? And we've got a false return because five is not greater than seven and it is not equal to seven. And that is how you use greater or equals function on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.